Grand Sumo in 2022. The Eternal Fuji era has just started in Ozu Mo. Alright guys, let us now shift our focus on the new year. The million dollar question is, I think, uh, who is going to possibly stop Teru no Fuji? Teru no Fuji. <laughs> I really think he, it's basically up to his to win every tournament for, in 2022. He, who's going to beat him? Look at what the year he's had. Four tournament wins, 77 wins and no absences for Teno no Fuji. And of course, makes the rank of Yokozuna. Uh, it might be boring, but I think we might just have one man winning them all. Yeah. A great former Yokozuna has high hopes for Teno no Fuji. Well, then come. I think one man who is the biggest threat to Terno Fuji, who would that be? I think Takakesho, the Ozeki. Because uh, if you remember, Takakesho came so close to winning a, a championship a couple of times uh, in 2021, and uh, I think he was pretty consistent. Uh, besides a couple of basho, he was out with an injury. So uh, if Takakesho can stay injury free for the entire year, uh, I think he has a decent chance of winning a championship and also, uh, you know, getting himself uh, promoted to the top rank of Yokozuna. Guys, not just Takakesho, but Pusher Thrusters further down the food chain, they really uh, performed well in the November Basho. We saw Takanosho, Abi, those guys really, you know, showed prove that they're they can be a force to be reckoned with for against the top rankers. I really think uh, Daesho as well. Mm -hmm. Don't forget he's the first one who put dirt on Yokozuna Terunofuji as a Yokozuna. And we saw him grab the championship in January in 2021. And uh, if you're speaking of uh, the pressure thrusters, uh, first man who comes to my mind is Abi. Uh, Abi, who just returned to the top division in Makunouchi in November, uh, you know, he almost beat Terno Fuji on day 14 in that uh, climax, the showdown. But, uh, you know, Abi, uh, he's a former Kumusubi, so uh, he knows how to beat all those, uh, you know, uh, guys at the upper echelons. So uh, keep your eye on Abi because Abi is going to make a statement, I think, in 2022. So just like Abi, who just returned from the, in, to the Makunoji division from the second tier Jiryu division, there are so many outstanding wrestlers in the Jiryu division. Two hours before the top Makunouchi division competition starts, 28 wrestlers from the second highest judo division begin their fights. High ranked judo Rikshi occasionally take on Makunouchi wrestlers when they fill in for Rikshi who've withdrawn. In the November tournament, Wakamoto Haru, an older brother of Makunouchi wrestler Wakataka Kage, notched 11 wins. Judo champion Ichi Yamamoto and Oho, a grandson of legendary Yokozuna Taiho, who won 32 titles, also performed well and are likely to start 2022 in the top division. Judo is a tough division in which 14 former top division wrestlers competed hard in November. Small and popular Rikshi Enho is among them. 2021 was a frustrating year for him. He dropped to Judo due to an injury. Yeah, 
In November, Enho weighed 103 kilograms, the heaviest in his life. He notched eight wins, achieving his first winning record in four tourneys. You know, I had a wonderful time speaking with Eng Ho. I saw asked Eng Ho, so what's his dream now? Is that, and, and he told me that uh, one of his dreams is that uh, he'll keep fighting hard, keep getting better and stronger. And also he told me that his ultimate goal is to win the top division championship. That way he says he will finally be able to repay Magaki Oyakata for raising him. Well, Hiro, there's always that possibility of a Jiro man coming back up to Makunochi and taking the championship all of a sudden. Yeah. We saw that in Tokushoryu in yeah. 2020, January. Well, this time in the Hatsubasho, I really have high hopes for Ichi Yamamoto. He was the Jiro champion in November. He's a former civil servant from Hokkaido, northern Japan. He, his parents said, no way, don't quit your job, but he made his dream come true of becoming a Rikishi. So he really has that extra motiv motivation to do well this time and go up the months again. I'm looking forward to, we've got Wakamoto Haru, Wakataka Kage's brother, who will debut, and also Oho. Uh, he's got the family tradition to carry on his back, but he should be good. Of course, remember, we only saw two promotions from Jurio to the top division in 2021, so that's not good. I'm looking forward to a lot more guys making it to the top division in 2022. Now, I would like to speak about one particular Rikishi who competes in Makunouchi, that is Mitake Umi, the Sekiwake. Mitake Umi scored, uh, the Sekiwake scored 11 wins in November, and if he can duplicate the same type of performances in the January tournament, in the March tourney, he could be the Shin Ozeki, the newly promoted Ozeki by the May tournament. I guarantee you that he will make his move to the second highest rank. That's why I cannot wait for the New Year's tourney to begin.